family, welcome back to another installment on the Ebony Restoration channel. Today's video is going to talk about money. And not only just money, but the relationship between money as a form of currency and water as a form of energy. And the important point that I want you all to take away is that money is a figment of your imagination. Money is what we say it is because it is just merely a form of currency that we use and obtain in order to get resources that we need. For instance, currently in the United States, the form of money that we use are in two forms. You can either have paper currency or you have coinage currency. Um, in previous societies, they use shells, seashells. Other societies, they use um, weapons as a form of currency. Other societies, they use humans as a form of currency. Um, other societies, they use pebbles as a form of currency. Now, because we're living in the society that we're living in, to hear that someone is using pebbles or seashells as a form of currency, it, it may be strange for some, because this may be the first time that you're hearing this information. But at that time, just like at this time, it was a figment of their imagination because they put value on this form um, of resource to use it to gain other resources. And another time, gold was a form of um, currency. Um, and the reason why I say that money and water are the same is because money, like water, is an energy source. It can create energy. It is energy. And remember, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it changes form. So the money that you have, when you hand it in to go and purchase something, it changes form in that it now allows you to obtain that resource. And when you compare money and water, you see that they both have banks. You have a water bank where water collects. You have a bank where your money collects. They both have current. You have currency. And you also have a current. So when money is flowing, you get a currency. When water is flowing, you get a current. Um, and then also, just the idea of how money can flow. You can have fast money. You can have slow money. You can have fast streams. You can have slow streams. So at the end of the day, when you think about money, think about it like water. As water comes, water goes. As money comes, money goes. And you cannot hold on to money, just like you cannot hold on to water. Because at the end of the day, we are all going to transition from our physical forms, and we are going to die one day. And you cannot take the money with you. But you can transform it into other resources. You can pass it along just like it passes down. Just like water passes along, you can also pass money down to your family or pass it on to other organizations. And also when you're thinking about money, free yourself that money is something that you can't have or the love of money is something that is that has a limit, that has a cap because there's no limit to money, there's no cap to money, because it is an energy source. There's no limit to the energy that you possess. There's no cap to the energy that you possess. It's all a state of mind. And when you change your state of mind, then you can increase the energy that flows towards you. Okay? So, as I stated, money is a figment of your imagination or the idea of what money is is a figment of your imagination 
Now, please do not misunderstand what I'm saying. Money is very real in the physical sense. But I'm saying it's a figment of your imagination in regards to how you think of money and how you think money is supposed to be used, how you think money is supposed to be spent, and how you think money is supposed to be earned. So free yourself. And remember, money, like water, comes and goes. It is a form of energy that, when moved and processed, can generate a current. Okay? So until next time, I leave you all in peace, love, and unity.